On this day three years ago, the soup kitchen came into being. Philanthropist Inspector Veldon Regay reminisces on the day he started this initiative. We started on that tent down there on a pot of soup prepared by Karim Tong and sponsored by Samantha Minister Marshall. And today we almost reach where we want to be in terms of providing the service that we planned originally. The soup kitchen served a special feast to recipients on Saturday to commemorate its third anniversary. Inspector Regay says because of the support of both individuals and businesses, the initiative continues to grow and there are even greater plans for the near future. Our next fears is to put a washing station and forget about the foam plate and the paper plate. Besides that it's expensive, it's to have an impact on the environment. So we plan to give them ceramic plates and stainless steel fork. As part of the rehabilitation process, Inspector Regay says each patron will soon be required to wash their own utensils once they've completed their meal as a sense of responsibility. He thanked the many businesses who stepped up to help, as well as Global Citizen Foundation, who not only sponsored Saturday's anniversary meal, but gave him the start he needed. This is the company that gave us the container, that gave us the, the boost that we're really looking for. So to mark our anniversary, they sponsor the meal today, and it's really and truly a feast. I think it's the biggest lunch we have ever served here. And I want to thank all, all businesses. Inspector Regay says he foresees a lasting relationship with everyone who continues to play their part in the soup kitchen and is optimistic they will achieve their goals by the end of this year. This is Kim Emanuel Baird reporting for ABS News.